Dune was first released back in 1965. It's been described as the world's best-selling science fiction novel and has since spawned multiple games, books, comics, and even motion pictures. So when I heard that Funcom was planning to create an open-world survival MMO set in the Dune universe, I was obviously intrigued. So in this video, like most of my other videos, I want to go over everything we officially know about the Dune MMO, what the developers have said about the title, official info drops, and it wouldn't be an oh hey spun video without a little sprinkle of speculation. So buckle in, this video is going to be jam packed with info that, to be honest, I have not seen consolidated anywhere else. On top of this, I will also be updating the spun.gg site with all of this info, graphics and more. So make sure to check it out and bookmark the page to stay up to date on all things Dune Awakening. Now, first off, I want to talk a little bit about Funcom. I have a long history with them, their Norway based studio and their experience with MMOs and survival games. If you're not interested in this history section, feel free to skip ahead I'll make sure to bookmark everything for you. Now, my history with Funcom starts all the way back in 2001 with the release of Anarchy Online. For those of you who were probably not born yet, Anarchy Online is Funcom's first take on this science fiction MMO niche and one, if not the first sci-fi MMOs to ever hit the market. That, coupled with the success of their Conan franchise, creating one of the most successful survival games ever, it seems pretty obvious that Funcom is uniquely qualified for a massive survival MMO project, right? Well, first things first, I think it's important for us to maybe temper our expectations a little and look back quickly on Funcom's past successes and failures. Anarchy Online officially launched to the public on June 27th, 2001. During its first month of release, many stability, registration, and even billing issues hurt its public perception something that to this day they are remembered for. Some gaming reporters claimed that it was even the worst launch in MMO history, an arguable yet valid take. The game would continue to receive updates and expansions for many years to come until it was practically abandoned in the early 2010s where it would receive no other future updates since. Personally, I loved playing Anarchy Online and it had a very unique spin on attributes, player progression, and twinking. It even had a small resurgence back in 2019 when they released a fresh start server that received an early death due to them ultimately managing it so poorly and banning their top streamer. I'm not bitter, I swear. In 2008, after receiving licensing for Conan the Barbarian, they would release Age of Conan, one of the industry's first attempts at true action combat in an MMORPG. This idea of real combat would pull in a lot of interest, but the game would soon fizzle out very quickly after its release and only a few years later just go completely free to play, with cosmetics, in-game shop, and pay for power items added soon thereafter. Then in 2012, Funcom would release yet another MMORPG titled The Secret World. It would be a modern day take on the MMORPG set in the real world, but under attack of a cult and supernatural natural forces. The game received an overall 74 out of 100 on Metacritic and it was praised for its strong start but would ultimately lose steam soon thereafter. Funcom would later claim that the game never reached its full success because of its proximity to Diablo 3, Guild Wars 2, World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria, but personally I think the game failed because, well, it sucked. After this, Funcom would go dark for a little while, and it seemed like maybe they were trying to cook up something new behind the veil of their failed MMORPGs. Now, exiting this MMORPG sphere, Funcom would decide to pivot into survival games and would eventually release Conan Exiles. In the first week alone of Conan Exiles' early access release over on Steam, it sold more than 320,000 copies. And as of July 2018, the game has sold 1.4 million copies copies, making it the biggest and fastest selling game in Funcom's history. It seemed like finally they had a game that really connected with its audience and a future to look forward to. But what was next on Funcom's plate? Over the next few years, they would release a few smaller projects as well as work on more publishing deals. And that brings us up to modern day. First announced at Gamescom in 2022, Dune Awakening will be the first game developed by Funcom set in the Dune universe. Now they have dabbled in using the IP to publish an RTS set in the Dune universe and it was developed by Shiro Games that had moderately decent reception, but we don't need to go into detail on that one 
since it wasn't even actually made by Funcom directly. Dune Awakening combines the grit and creativity of survival games with the social interactivity of a large, persistent multiplayer game to create a unique and ambitious open-world survival MMO. I even predicted that these two genres would start to merge together in my video about the future of MMOs. So let's break down the details that we know about Dune Awakening, as well as some of the things we've heard from developers, as well as other interviews regarding the project. First off, and the most commonly asked question about all games is, when will it be released? Currently, the official release date is to be announced, but given their plans to start betas this year, we could potentially see the game going into early access late in 2023 or early 2024, if we have our copium hats on. So who's working on it? If you didn't skip the previous section, you'd know that Funcom Oslo, the same team that brought us Anarchy Online, Age of Conan, The Secret World, and Conan Exiles, will be in fact developing the game. What type of game will it be? Dune Awakening is a blend of open world crafting and building found in survival games and the massive social aspects found in other MMOs. The plan is to support over 1,000 players on a persistent server. Will there be a beta and how do I sign up for it? Yes. You can visit duneawakening.com and hit the beta sign up button at the top of the page. They have not released when the testing will start, but they do plan to get people into Arrakis later this year. What systems will the game be available on? Following the modern MMO trend, Dune Awakening has been announced for PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. This confirms that the game is near release and we can expect much more info to come this year, as we are beginning to reach the end of the lifespan for some of of these consoles. What will the combat be like in Dune Awakening? Dune Awakening features satisfying third-person combat with fast-paced interplay between infantry, ground, and flying vehicles. Everything from melee, ranged, vehicle, and more will be at the player's disposal in PvE as well as massive PvP battles. Will the story follow the plot of any of the books or films? The story in Dune Awakening will be similar to the books, but Dune Awakening takes place in an alternate timeline. They have worked closely with the Herbert family and Legendary Pictures on the creative process and were able to find a single point in time that starts a landslide of events for the game's plot. Beyond that, we'll probably have to wait until we get our hands on the game. What do the survival aspects of the game look like? In Dune Awakening, you will have to survive the harshness of Arrakis and never underestimate its challenges. Funcom is focusing on a few core pillars for the game, such as shelter, traversal, and water supply. Their goal is to define these game systems in a way that feels challenging, but is not overly punishing for its players. How will exploration work? Arrakis is a beautiful and deadly environment, full of secrets to discover for those daring and prepared for the challenge. Their current plan is to entice and reward players who like exploring with what they call infinite exploration. Outside of the shield walls of town, the sands shift during what the team calls a Coriolis storm. During these storms, the entire map outside of the space will change, revealing new locations and secrets that may be swept away by the next coming storms. Now everyone knows a good survival game needs a great crafting system, so what will the crafting be like? In Dune Awakening, you can build and craft your equipment and vehicles, which are further customizable with modules to adapt to different gameplay situations and your own personal needs. The game will use a schematic system where you will be able to unearth new crafting schematics and use them to create unique items to use for yourself or to sell to other players on an exchange. So tell me more about this exchange and the potential of a player-based economy. The current plan for Dune Awakening is to support thousands of players per server who will be able to control resources, prices, and even items supply and demand. Some items potentially being craftable only by a specific few players on the server. Okay, so I've heard rumors there may be some NFTs or blockchain integration. Is that true? No, no, it's not. It's not true at all. They have no plans to introduce NFTs, Web3, cryptocurrencies, or blockchain technology to Dune Awakening. They've even said Arrakis prefers its business to be regulated. And there we have it. Everything known about Dune Awakening, from the combat to the exploration and more. Obviously, I didn't go into every little detail on how these different systems will work, and I 
do hope to go over that more in the future, especially as we get more releases and info drops. We still have so much information to find out about what looks to be a very promising addition to the survival or MMO genres. And hopefully we will be able to check out some more gameplay soon as they continue to ramp up their info drops. But well, let me turn it over to you guys. What do you think about Dune Awakening? Will Funcom be able to pull off this ambitious title given their past failures? As always, I look forward to keeping you all updated about Dune Awakening and many more upcoming MMOs and survival games. If this kind of thing interests you, make sure you just smack that subscribe button at the top. It's free. Just, just, just do it, all right? And with all of that said, I will see you all in the next video. My name is Spun. Peace.